Hey everyone, Billy Hell, Billy Hell Leather. Today we're looking at a holster I just made, and this is for a Colt single action. And um, it is a Mexican loop holster. I almost never do Mexican loops. Uh, I think it's because it, I, I do all the tooling on the on this main holster and then the loops actually cover up my tooling and it all, always bothers me. But since I hadn't done one in so long, I wanted to do one. So it's kind of a combo deal here. Um, we have an, okay, so anyway, we'll whip this out real quick. This is a Colt single action, of course. This belonged to Texas Ranger Rufus Van Zant. Rufus uh, went after Pancho Villa with General Pershing. He was a ranger in the 20 Eastern Prohibition, a lot of encounters on the border towns down there in Texas. But this holster was formed with Rufus's pistol, pretty notorious gun that I won't go into great detail about this. It might not be appropriate, but it's a, quite a gun. Anyway, so this is 9 to 10 ounce leather. It's a very 1880s. I've done an 1860s type of floral cut into the main part of the holster and then flourished the loops a little bit. This is sitting on a two and a half inch belt. The belt is not a part of the cell. I'm just showing it on the belt. So I'm going to take this off the belt and we'll take a look at the holster itself. So everything's burnished. Everything's nicely done. It's uh, it's an interesting, I used a couple of different things to make it antique or make it look used, but the base is Phoebe's dye and some uh, Neat's Foot Oil and some other ingredients, but here we are with an aged look. So if you're going cowboy action shooting or something like that and you want something that doesn't look brand new, this is definitely it. Here's the back side. One thing I always don't like about Mexican loops is sometimes they cut these pretty small and I wonder how on earth is that gun going to stay in that holster for any period of time with uh, tiny loops. And so I made these the width that I thought would be appropriate. It'll handle anything up to a seven and a half inch uh, barrel. And it's got a kind of a nice little reveal down here on the cutaway. It's not, the throat's not too deep and it doesn't rise too high, so it's not covering up your gun. So you don't want to go maybe busting in the brush with this thing, but if you're out uh, shooting, this would be an awesome holster. So I'll reholster the pistol one more time. Bear with my camera as I do this. And there it is. Hey, uh, if this isn't your exact thing that you want or the color or whatever, um, I'm always making something so subscribe you're watching this on YouTube so hit the subscribe button and then when I have new holsters that I come out with you can uh, go check them out and be kept aware of the vintage goodness that is Billy Hell Leather. Alright y'all thank you have a great day.